So for those of you who have heard me talk about our blueprint or visited the chest induction, you will all know just exactly how excited I am going to be today to interview this week's guest. We've got with us today um, talking about culture and performance, Ben Hunt Davis, Olympic gold, middle, gold medal winner, but more importantly for me, the author of one of my very favourite books, Will It Make the Boat Go Faster? Hello. Hello, it's great to be here, thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Um, so obviously we're here at the Belfry in Birmingham, we've taken part in our partner conference, and um, thank you very much for staying after so I can just ask you a couple more questions. Pleasure. All right, so the parallels between um, your success as an Olympic gold medal winner and um, what I feel was my Olympic gold medal winner, if I, if I would have been able to win one, was when we were the number one company to work for in the UK. That was something that we'd strived for for years and to achieve that, um, you know, was phenomenal. It's an incredible achievement. It's absolutely <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> it seems silly talking about it to you, um, who's achieved that. But, uh, but that's what I yeah. want to do for my business. Yeah. So, I, so you're way ahead of me there. Oh, so thank you very much. So on that journey, I came up against people who said, you know, you're not going to be able to do it. Be happy with two, be happy with three, be happy being in the top ten. And I couldn't give it up. I was absolutely obsessed and wanted to get there. When I hear you talk about and read your book, I know that you felt exactly the same. So how do you overcome when you've got such a focused vision, the people who don't believe you can do it? So we, um, we did a couple of things, really. Yeah. Um, so, so one thing was a kind of positive working out how do we actually build the beliefs we need. We, we, we had what we called an evidence wall. Right. And actually on one of the walls in the gym, we had um, a, so we call that the evidence wall, and we kept sticking up evidence to show that we could do what we wanted Brilliant. to do. So whether it was a, when you pull a handle on a rowing machine, you create a forced time curve. So whether it was a series of forced time curves that were changing, they may not be right, but if they were changing, we're going, we changed this much, then presumably we can change, we can change more. So there was a whole load of stuff to show that we could change. There was a whole lot of stuff where we had got, you know, maybe we did a 2,000 meter piece and maybe 200 of it was the right speed. So we go, look, if we can do 200, then presumably we can do yeah, yeah. 2,000. Yeah. We would look at other um, crews, teams similar to us who had achieved different things and yes. went, well, if, if they can do it, then presumably yeah. we yeah. can do it. And we, so yeah, we, we had this evidence wall where we just kept sticking different bits of evidence to show that we, show that we could do what we wanted to do. That must be so uh, powerful to visually be able to see that. So if you're having a bad day, if you've had a, t a terrible training session, you can go. You can look at it and go, yeah. it's going to be all right. You know, this is, today's been rubbish, but it's just one day. Look at all the reasons why we can do this. Yeah. So, and, and, and going to the Olympics, we had printed off various bits of it to take with us. And I remember the night before, one of the boy, boys in the boat, the night before the final, he was just bricking it. He was absolutely terrified. And we all went through that bit. And I remember kind of rummaging around, pulling out the bit of paper, going, Stevie, look at it. Yeah. Look at the reasons why we yeah. can do this. And we kind of spoke about each one. And, and so we were kind of really, really proactive. So often people look for why we can't do stuff. Yeah. And we were constantly going, well, what are the reasons to show that we, we can? Yeah. And yeah, there are things that aren't right. And we can learn and we can change and we can develop that. But let's keep the faith and look at the things we could. Yeah. So, so that was kind of the proactive, positive yeah. bit. And then the other bit we spoke about was we talked about we talked about bullshit filters, right. yeah, uh, which yeah, were kind of these yeah, ear yeah. defenders. You can <laughs> whack the, the thing up to maximum deflection, yeah. so the bullshit wouldn't get through. Because there were plenty of people telling us we couldn't do it. Yeah, loads yeah, of people, yeah, yeah. and yeah. and listening to them just wasn't helpful. Yeah. And some yeah, of them, so. some of them were just you know for, for whatever reason you know didn't want us to do well or just didn't think we were good enough and then you had some people who you know were, were friends but didn't I had some family who didn't want me to care too much because they didn't want to see me upset yeah yeah, yeah. I know and that, yeah. so which is they're trying to protect you they're trying to protect you so yeah. if, for the best yeah. reasons so i'd be in a conversation with some people and i'd get to a point of just going you know effectively just you know sticking the Mm. bullshit filter on and just going la 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 I'm not listening to you anymore yeah. and I'll try and be polite and try and be all the rest yeah. of it yeah. there were other yeah. people I'd just try and avoid because I didn't actually want to talk to them because you knew they were going to drag you down yeah or I just didn't want to talk about that particular thing yeah. so we were kind of quite focused about who we wanted to listen to 
and, and somebody coming up going, you know, I think you could do this, or, you know, that was rubbish because you did that wrong. We go, okay, what can I learn? Yeah. But if it was just general naysayer yeah. dragging you back, we just, yeah. we wouldn't, we yeah. wouldn't engage. It adds no value, does it? It adds no value. And I think that the, the link between sport and, and business there is exactly the same. We're very clear mm. on trying to always recruit people with the right attitude and energy. Yeah. Because if you get people in who haven't, it drains the rest of the business. Absolutely. That's and yeah. so it, it, in my office, mate, we've, got a, we've got an evidence wall. You know, oh, we're small and we're growing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've got, I want to come and see that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you know, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's got a whole load of stuff. You know, when yeah. we get good results, when somebody does something yeah. amazing, when we get, you know, we be proud of it. Show yeah. Up. Yeah. And we keep going. Look at the. You know, if. Yeah. Uh, and when things are going well, you don't need it so much. But when yeah. you hit a, a kind of lump, yeah. when it gets hard, to actually remind yourself to come back and go, yeah. look at what we've done in the past. So therefore, we can deal with this. When when we've dealt with a a difficult situation, that will absolutely go up on the wall and going, we can deal with the hard stuff as well. We've Not, overcome it. We've overcome it. We, we, you yeah. know, when, when going's easy, it's kind of easy to yeah. get the results. But when it's hard, if you can overcome that, yeah. then that's... That's real success, isn't it? That's real success. Yeah, it is, and I think um, to keep going back and keep feeling prouder, and I think that's something in Britain that sometimes we're not great at showing off, are we? We're just like, oh yeah, I did all right. It's like, no, it was brilliant. That's Let's right. go on about it. And, or... Um, uh, a few days ago in the office, uh, we got a kind of big bit of work we're trying to close at the moment, and two of my team were, were supposed to have a meeting to, to sign, sign the contract yeah. for this really, what will be a great bit of work, and the meeting was cancelled, uh, postponed, mm -hmm. actually, and they were kind of a bit, mm -hmm. a bit yeah. flat. And I was going, okay, so what, you know, what could be good about this? Mm -hmm. And I went, well, I guess I've got some time to do yeah, some other stuff because I've got... So, okay, so, so yeah, more time to prepare. And I just kept going, okay, what else? What, what else can be good about this? And, and I'm not saying the situation was good. It would have been great to get the order. Yeah. But now that we haven't got the order, what's yeah. good about it? Yeah. And just getting into the habit of looking for what can be good, yeah. what's useful, adds to the evidence wall, adds yeah. to our self-confidence, our self-belief, yeah. and gives us the ability to, yeah. to be yeah. best place yeah. to work in the UK. I mean, yeah. It, yeah. yeah. That's okay. what I want to do one day. Very good. <laughs> and I'm sure you will. Um, okay, so the second thing, um, and it's something that you've touched on, you touched on in your presentation, is something that I'm really keen about. At Chess, we talk a lot about being one team, but how did you get the right people for that critical team that took you from being, what was it, seventh, eighth, to then being first? So, um, so we worked really hard on having the right team with the right mindset and yeah. the right approach. Um, in sport, it's easy to go, oh, you just need the biggest, strongest people. And you know, we did need really big, strong people. We needed as much power as we could get. But we also needed people who were gonna do stuff in the right way. Yeah. And there were some really strong people who didn't get in because they didn't, they didn't think in the right way. They didn't kind of fit the culture so of what we were trying to do. They weren't aligned. Culture, yeah. And so when people join the team, we spend a lot of time talking about the culture. This is how we do stuff around here. We need people who are honest. And if, if, if honesty, and some people go, well, yeah, I'll be a little bit honest. We go, no, no, really. We, you've got to be able to tell me. Yeah. And so we, um, we kind of worked really hard on making sure everyone was really, really clear on what was needed and why. And what was in it for you? Yeah. To, because yeah, exactly. yeah. when you're trying to give me some feedback yeah. and it's kind of difficult for you, it's difficult for me. What's in it for you to yeah. do it? And yeah. for us, the goal was, was just winning. You know, if you don't give me the feedback, then it diminishes our chances of, of winning. Yeah. Yeah. And, and in my business yeah. now, we keep going. So what's the point of having these difficult conversations? What's yeah. what's in it for you? What's in it for me? Yeah. And I might be motivated and driven differently from you, and, and that's fine. Yeah. But knowing what that. Yeah. What that thing that is, yeah. what the thing yeah. is that holds us together. So there's yeah. a reason to be honest with each other. Yeah, yeah, of course there is. Yeah. yeah. A reason to be aligned. Yeah, yeah. it's oh. really powerful, and so the regularity in which you do that as well. And we, I think you can't talk about it too much. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, definitely. And I'm assuming that's something that you learn from being on the on the rowing team, which then you've taken yeah. back. And, and I guess, and it's easy to become complacent about it. It's easy to think, well, everybody knows now. Everybody's got it. And it amazes me how, you know, you can ask people what, what the thing is and they will, it will have changed in their head somehow. It yeah. will be, you know, people just kind of start to move one way. So, so continually having conversations about really what is most important, really why is that important to you? Why is it important to me? Why is it important to them? Yeah. Um, 
because just the the goal is kind of part of it, but but knowing what that means to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and that the journey is as is as is important as is getting there, isn't it? So having people coming in day to day with the right values, with the right attitudes, enjoying that. Enjoying. Yeah, and, and, that's and so it. that's kind of why yeah. I think your yeah. your um, the kind of vision you've got there, I think, is absolutely fantastic. Yeah. If people, if it's not a business where people want to work, then presumably they won't stay that long. Presumably they won't care that much. Whereas if people know that you're working to make sure it's the best possible place for them. Yeah, that's it. People feel valued and cared for. I think the key things that I always talk about at Chess is if you, if you can, whatever role you're in, if you can know that you can maximise your potential, so you know that you're going to feel valued and cared for, and you are going home feeling proud of what you've achieved that day, then I think that changes your life and that changes your family's life. You know, And obviously, not every day is going to be a good day, but if you've got the right team around you, like you say, to support, to, to know that you're in it together, then I think that... That changes the workplace. That's a modern workplace. Absolutely. There, there'll always be good days and bad days. Yeah. And, and on a good day, it's, it kind of makes the whole thing easier. But on a bad day, going home knowing that actually people do still care, yeah. that you know, what you're doing is important, that you are valued, that yeah. you are making a difference to, to the rest of the team, that's yeah. what makes it easier to make sure the next day is a better day. Yeah, of course it does, because you come back, don't you? Ready Cause, to go Because you come back going, yeah. what can I... You know, I know I've got people looking out for me. I know, you know people yeah. have got my back. I know that... Let's do it again, yeah. yeah, and let's do it better. Yeah. So the, oh, uh, just like to remind people uh, to, so if you're enjoying this conversation, to subscribe. I always forget to tell people to subscribe. Hi. Subscribe is a great thing to do. <laughs> um, so the final thing that I'd probably want to talk about is y your focus on only doing things that were going to make the boat go faster. So I'll ask you to elaborate a little bit more on that in a minute. And that just sounds so simple and it's so perfect. And we've tried to sort of, um, not emulate that, but it, it's aligned to that is with our critical success factors, which we created 15 years ago. And we only try and do things in the business which link to our critical success factors because we know that's what will help us achieve our vision. Yeah. How do you maintain that day in, day out over that two year period like you did? Because that's, that's what success is. So we, in a very similar way, yeah. so, so our, our goal was to win, but we knew yeah. we couldn't control winning because we, we couldn't control how fast the Americans or the Germans went. All yeah. we could do was control how fast we went. Yeah. So that's why we started asking the question, will it make the boat go faster? Yeah. What we're about to do, how are we going to do it? Whether that be a conversation, whether that be how I pull on an oar handle, okay. will it make the boat go faster? And, and, and so from that top goal, we then had a whole load of measurement stuff that went underneath it to make sure that we were on track. And we had six key areas we thought we had to work on. One was the physical side, actually fitness and strength. There was a technical bit, technically yeah, how do you so move the boat? Have, yeah. um, the team, how do we operate together as a team? Um, we talked about kind of resilience or bounce back ability. How do we, because stuff will always go wrong. Yeah, yeah, course, how do we, how do we uh, get back on it yeah, faster than other people? The time, yeah. um, there was an equipment bit, have we got the best equipment? Okay. And there was a tactical bit. Yeah. Tactically, when it comes to racing, yeah. tactically are we better than other people? And we thought there, there are those six things and, and physically, we weren't going to be better than the Americans, okay. or the Germans, or the Dutch, or anyone else, frankly. But we had to be as good as we could be. <laughs> yeah. So technically, we were going, how do we technically be the best crew in the world? Just that's what the goal was there. Um, Resilience-wise, because we thought we could learn that. Yeah. Resilience. We wanted yeah. to be the most resilient group in the world. Uh, and, and we kind of looked at all sorts of stuff and went, you know, that's, that's, yeah. that's what resilience looks like. Team. It's impossible to measure. But we wanted to be a team that people looked yeah. to and went, they are outstanding with what they do. And I want to be part of that team, oh. that's it. Yeah, we wanted to have the best equipment, and, and in rowing, equipment makes such a small difference because they're really tight regulations. Okay. So that was kind of a minor one. And yeah. tactically astute, we wanted to be really great at okay. tactical decisions. Yeah. Um, and then each month, we'd go, okay, so the technical focus for this month is this, the physical focus is this, the, some months there were or weren't a tactical bit or there was always a resilience bit, there was always a team bit. But you'd stick to those areas and you never strayed from it. And we, um, you know, then so for, if we were doing a 20 kilometre session with a whole load of rope around the boat as resistance training, mm. we knew specifically why it was fitting into the, into the physical yeah. bit. And there would also be a technical bit, the rhythm we were working on or the technical movement or the, and there would be a team bit. And so each session, 
we would know what we were trying to achieve from doing every session. We, we never just did a day's training yeah. where we just go, right, let's go and train hard. Without day. knowing the objectives. And that goes back to great communication then, which a lot of businesses don't have. And it's an issue in businesses because nobody yeah. thought, why the hell are we doing this resistance training? Because they knew why they were doing it. Uh, and so, so the, the kind of back page of the blueprint, I love. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this is, this is what my role is and this yeah. is how it fits in. And so, so we did that at the beginning of every, every month. We'd go, right, this is what we're trying to achieve this month. And at the beginning of every day, we'd go, right, this is the bit of that that we're trying to do today. And for, for that session, these are the two, three, four things we're going to work on. Okay. And at the end of the session, we go, how do we do? So there was a huge amount of communication that went into it. Yeah. And, and it wasn't just two years of training hard. It was we got three weeks or four or five weeks to the next test, okay. trial. Small, bite-sized, achievable. Yeah. Uh, and then with each session... I mean, so, um, a 20 kilometer session on the rowing machine, we did them five days a week. Right. For anyone who's been on the rowing machine, you'll know they are dull. <laughs> I've not. <laughs> so doing 20 kilometers would yeah. take 70 to 80 minutes. And it's so easy to get on, you switch your brain off and you just kind of grind it out. But that wasn't going to make the boat go faster. No, 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 so no, we'd no. get on it going, yeah. so actually the way we're going to move off our feet and kind of uh, you know, or, or move our back or the hand or the, the rhythm that you can hear that the fan wheel makes a different noise when you get the rhythm right or, or look at the force time curves. So if you get on for 80 minutes, specifically working on one detail, it yeah, actually yeah. makes time go so much yeah, quicker. Of course it does, yeah. It makes yeah. it more interesting. And you feel like you've achieved something because it's become, yeah. yeah. Rather than just yeah, going, yeah. there's another hour and a bit gone, you can go, actually, this bit was, yeah. I improved this. Yeah, so, yeah. So, so kind of focusing on yeah. the detail. It makes it more interesting, it makes yeah. it more challenging, it makes it, it keeps the whole thing alive. Lord. And you know, it was, it was hard to do. Because yeah. having the discipline, every session, to go right, specifically this is what we're going to do, rather than going, oh my God, let's just go out and do some training so I can have some breakfast. Yeah. It was a temptation, but as a team, we would keep going, no, no, Ben, you're not going to do what you're going to do yeah, until yeah. we've had this conversation. Yeah. And at the end of every session, I'd be go, at the end of the session, I'd go, I'm tired, I'm, I'm cold. Yeah. I'm wet, I'm, I just want some food. Yeah. And then we'll go, yeah, food's great, but after we've done the talk. Yeah. So let's just review it now. So you kept each other going, didn't you? We kept each other going. And sometimes it was them dragging me into the conversation, going, Ben, you're going to plan this properly. And sometimes it was me dragging them in. Yeah. So having everybody helping each other yeah. have the discipline to go, right, specifically today, what are we working on? Yeah. Well, that's, that's what takes you to the next level, isn't it? That's yeah. what gets you through it. And, and it's something that... And everybody knows about every sports team knows about it, but most people don't do it because it's kind of hard yeah it's not easy to do it's not it's not, it's not going to happen is it and like i know you've said before there's sometimes there's people you don't get on with or you don't agree with the views but as a team you have to put that aside to aim for the bigger goal i, I could focus on me not liking somebody or i could think yeah. about how can they help me win yeah because exactly. i can't win without them yeah, yeah, yeah. and they can't win without and you. they can't win, win yeah. without me so, so yeah, constantly going, so, you know, the reason I'm calling you back to say, no, let's, let's kind of do yeah. this planning properly is, and you might be pissed off with me, but you know that, you know that it's just because I need you to win. Yeah. I'm desperate for you to win yeah. so that I can win. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, we had arguments and it wasn't easy, but we'd keep, you know, you wake up the next morning and going, yeah, they were right, because, or they were, yeah, yeah. Or, yeah. or maybe I don't agree with them, but the reason they did it is so I can be better. Yeah, of course, yeah, which is what. Yeah, so, so having the really clear common yeah. goal you've got vision, in there, yeah. the really yeah. clear vision, yeah. and to keep coming back going, you know, I'm, yeah. this conversation might be a, might be a yeah. bit awkward, but it's just so we can be better. Yeah. It's just so we can achieve what we've said. Referring back to it every single month, as we do with our Engage app, is, yeah, what works. You, you don't let people off the hook. You can't give up on it. Of course, sometimes you'd rather go home or you'd rather have a chat about some gossip, but you have to keep focusing. Yeah, and, and not every day is going to be perfect. There'll be days where right. it doesn't happen for whatever reason and then go, right, t today, you know, it didn't work yesterday. Well, how do we make it better today? Yeah, which is a good point from a final point, really. I think mm. it's, it's so good when you, you come to events like this and you, you hear people talking about success and you, and you look around the room and everyone seems so successful. But I know there's loads of people out there and I've been in this situation myself in the past where you can't imagine how you could ever have a career or you could ever get that job that you want or that thing that you're looking for. You just can't see how you could ever achieve it. And so for people who've failed at lots of things, um, 
I know that that's the most powerful thing you can do because you learn from it. But what advice would you give right now to someone who's just been for that job or just done that thing that they really want and they didn't get it? The feeling that that real low ebb, they've not got a team, they've not got an evidence wall, they don't have a blueprint, what are they going to do? Get all of those things. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think, you know, just for us, 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 us as individuals, having the, the discipline or the help, there's always, yeah. we always have a team. You know, if you yeah. see an individual athlete running around the track, they've got a team. They've got their, their family, their, Friend. their friends, their physio, their, yeah. you know, all of us, you know, me as an individual, I've got, I've got my wife as part of my team. Yeah. I've got my mum, yeah. who if I'm having a shitty day, she'll make me feel a bit better. Yeah. I've got, that, so they're always, we have a team. You just need to look for it and utilise We your need team. to look for it and we need a bit of yeah. discipline when we're feeling really pissed off, if rather than just going, that was rubbish, to go, okay, well, you know, what, what, was, yeah. what was good? Or how do I do it a bit better next yeah. year? What can I do? Not, or, you know, how can I do it? And it's just a, there's a bit of self-discipline yeah. that's needed to ask, rather than going, you know, well, that was crap, just to, just to ask a question going, well, you know, how can I make it better? Or what was, what was all right about it? Or yeah. what did I do that was all right today? Yeah. Or just to ask, if you ask a better question, yeah. you know, there are some people who wake up in the morning and go, what sort of crap's going to happen today? Mm. And then you'll, you'll look for it all day. And anything happens, you go, oh, that happened and that happened. You Whereas if you've, got, yeah. if you've just got a bit of self-discipline and you go, you know, what's going to be good today? What's, where can I have fun yeah. today? Yeah, it's just your mindset, isn't it? it yeah. Absolutely. And so when you've had a rubbish day, when you've, an interview's gone badly, a meeting's gone badly, to have a bit of a, just to think, <coughs> a conversation with someone going, well, you know, that was not great, but this was better. This yeah. was all right. And that bit of it, I did all right. Yeah, yeah. 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 good. Uh, it's been really good. Thank you so much. Thank I could just talk much. to you all night. It's been really interesting. Thanks. What I would Pleasure. say, if anybody has not read the book, Will It Make the Boat Go Faster? or watch the video on YouTube in the final few minutes of when they won the race, um, I would say incredibly inspiring. So have a look at it. Um, thank you to everyone who's watched and thank you for liking, for subscribing. And what I want you to do this week on Chess Media is look in the comments section and I want you to write what you're going to do to make your boat go faster. Thank you very much. I'll see you next week.